Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's video is an uh, antiviral drug. These antiviral drugs are today, it is a uh, very popular because of the coronavirus. There was corona, you know that uh, corona, from the last two years we suffered a lot. Even I also suffered a lot with the coronavirus. I was there in this hospital for a four days. Sai Swarupa Hospital, uh, uh, BN Reddy Nagar, Hyderabad. Okay, uh, Sai Swarupa Hospital. They have given excellent treatment and I took this injection also. Four doses, remdesivir, I took a four injections. Okay, right. Uh, so, since what I can say, uh, there was actually, there was no symptoms to me. There were oxygen levels were 97, 98 without a uh, uh, ventilator. Okay, excellent. And if you see the cough, sneezing, that and all zero. I actually, I do not have any symptoms except fever and weakness. Only two things, fever, weakness, no sneezing, no cough, no dry cough, no wet cough, no symptoms at all. Okay, right. But uh, different persons are suffering with the different, but this was very good hospital. Even my PharmaD students are working there after completing their course. They are also uh, helped me. They have a look uh, forward. See, Remdesivir, if you search in a uh, Tripathi book, Pharmacology Tripathi book or Satoshkara book, uh, you cannot find Remdesivir in the book because you, you need updated knowledge. This is a very new drug that we know very well. See, if your textbook is published after releasing of this Remdesivir, uh, they have studied again, they will go for edition change, everything and all. It may take a lot of time, but this is very important for uh, examinations also, right? Okay. Uh, See, antiviral drugs are also called as anti-agent, uh, antiviral agents. It kills a virus or suppresses its ability to replicate, to multiply. Okay, then you can say it is a, a so these are agents who means either you are, it may be a chemical or it may be a synthetic, okay, or it may be a biological product or it may be a biotechnology, any agent or any drug or it may be a part of immune system also. So any agent, either it may be chemically or biologically, biotechnologically, or it may be a synthetic, whatever it may be. If it is having a property of killing a virus or it is having an ability to stop the replication of the virus, then you can say it is an antiviral drug. Okay. And keep in your mind, virus definitely, see this viral, virus definitely needs a support of living tissue for its multiplication. It cannot grow on this uh, inanimate subject. Okay, it needs a life, uh, existing life, uh, human being or animals like that. Okay, right. Uh, virus uses a living tissue to synthesize a new virus particles. Okay. And these are the contents what I have covered. This is your syllabus, introduction, classification. Four drugs are very, very important. Keep in your mind uh, that four drugs are complete pharmacology. You have to know for four drugs. Remaining and all, not necessary. I will tell you what are the important topics also i will tell you and this is my mobile app you can be download it from the google play store all my presentations are available in the form of pdf so here after downloading it go to the store option and uh, uh, see the courses courses see courses all the courses are there if you click on each course you will get all my pdf formats and this is my uh, youtube app uh, sorry this is my youtube channel there is a playlist here you can go to the playlist so I arranged all my videos uh, subject wise. If you click on the each subject, you will get a topic wise. Very, very important slide. Don't miss this slide. Very, very important. Here I have shown the important drugs also. There is a number of drugs are there. All antiviral drugs are mainly classified into four types. One, two, three, four. Keep in your mind. I will tell you how to remember and what are the important points. And, uh, <laughs> but see, if you search uh, Remdesivir, it's not here. You cannot find Remdesivir. I will tell you under which class it comes, I will tell you in the last, last slide. This is as per the Pharmacology Tripathi book only. Okay. Uh, see, first one, four classes, one, two, three, four. Anti-herpes virus, which all these are the medications which works against the anti-herpes virus. This is a drugs for anti-influenza virus. And this is hepatitis, liver disease that you know where a liver virus, hepatitis virus. These are the medications used to treat the hepatitis.
hepatitis virus and see this is retrovirus we know retrovirus is nothing but aids hiv aids retro virus all these are the medications used to uh, treat the hiv or aids right now see four types of virus keep in your mind herpes virus influenza virus hepatitis virus retrovirus like that they have classified the drugs again is to the class of virus like that they have uh, here you can see under each class one drug is important see under the here acyclovir is important and here amantadine amantadine okay and here interferon alpha and here you can see juduvidin juduvidin all these are the only four full pharmacology you have to know remaining classification you have to by heart like anything you have to write in the examination as such for competitive examination also here only they will ask you 50% of question like protease inhibitor or retrovirus uh, like they will ask you uh, nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor comes under which class retrovirus herpes virus influenza virus hepatitis virus they may ask you twist in a different styles within this slide only they can generate a, more than 100 bits you can generate okay see here subclasses are there a b c d e f okay and here you can see amantadine ran uh, uh, remantadine okay right see first one we will see herpes virus here i have told you these are same classification only what i is told here anti herpes virus this group we will see anti herpes virus acyclovir is a important drug here these are the medications used to treat the herpes virus herpes virus consists of a dna see here virus we know that virus consists of a rna don't think like that virus also consists of a dna see here this is a herpes virus dna clearly they have given these are the drugs active again is to the herpes group of dna viruses which includes herpes simplex virus 1 herpes simplex virus 2 Joster, Versiella Joster, all these things, okay. Uh, all these drugs are very effective against uh, this one. And if you see the acyclovir, this is a deoxyguanose analogue. Acyclovir is inactive as such. It has to convert into active. See, acyclovir is inactive. It will be converted into active form. That is acyclovir monophosphate. By the enzyme, not your enzyme, not your body enzyme, by the enzyme of the virus enzyme. See here, herpes virus specific thymidine kinase. It is an enzyme, very important thymidine kinase that converts the inactive acyclovir into the active acyclovir monophosphate. Okay, and this is cellular kinase again. So, acyclovir triphosphate it comes. Okay. This monophosphate converted into triphosphate, it inhibits the herpes virus DNA polymerase completely. DNA polymerase will be stopped and it will be get incorporated into the viral DNA. It stops the lengthening of the DNA. It cuts and it terminates. It cuts the DNA. It doesn't allow the prolongation of the DNA. That is a mechanism of action. Acyclovir is used as is very important. It is effective in all the patients. Both who are all suffering with the immune system and who have a healthy uh, immune system, no problem at all. But this drug is acyclovir as effective in both. Genetical argon, uh, number one, here you can see the genetical herpes, very dangerous virus. And number two, mucocutaneous, like a mucocutaneous. And a three, uh, herpes simplex encephalitis. And four, herpes simplex keratitis. And the next is herpes joster five and the chicken pox also acyclovir very very important right see acyclovir pharmacokinetics only 20 percent of the drug will be absorbed plasma protein binding also very less it is widely distributed but it is widely distributed throughout the body but uh, plasma protein binding is less it is excreted unchanged in the urine it, and uh, you need to adjust the dose in the renal impairment patient because it is excreted unchanged in the urine. And adverse effect, if you see, these are the topical stinging and burning sensation when you are applying the acyclovir ointment, topical ointment. After each time, whenever you are applying, you will feel the 
stinging and burning and it uh, decreases the glomerular filtration rate it is a dangerous for the kidney you forget about your kidney if you are taking regularly acyclovir okay a better to discontinue for the renal failure patient better to discontinue no teratogenic effect okay mm, and uh, this is important one last one uh, velacyclovir it is a ester pro drug of acyclovir and a fami cyclovir it is a ester pro drug of amantadine rimantadine see both are same both are same properties rimantadine is nothing but it is a methyl derivative of amantadine both are same okay this point number of times it was appeared what is a methyl derivative of amantadine like that they will give four option so you have to choose rimantadine okay adverse effect if you see local vaso constriction results in the ankle edema edema will be swelled if you are using regularly uses we are using for the prevention purpose prophylaxis of the influenza a1 also use it to treatment of a2 see here prevention of a1 treatment of a2 like that easily you can remember parkinsonism disease contraindicated in epilepsy cns and gastric ulcer pregnancy here you can see amantadine tablet and uh, it binds and uh, it interfere with the function of the transmember domain of m2 protein of influenza a virus this is very very important point okay and second is it interferes the virus assembly uh, during the replication of influenza a it decreases the release of influenza a viral particles into the host cell three mechanism action interference this is also very important i have told you interferon or uh, you see this is a biotechnological product it is not a drug it is biotechnological agent used to treat the anti so used to treat the virus see when virus is infected our body produces ifn interference will be produced naturally in our body whenever virus comes and affects you attacks you your body will produce the ifn okay interferon it is a low molecular weight glycoprotein kinetase uh, it is a three types alpha beta gamma is there it is having a all three types are having a antiviral property alpha 2a or 2b are produced by recombinant technology just like insulin insulin is produced in our body naturally if our body is not producing insulin then you can go for recombinant biotechnological insulin we are taking from outside in the same fashion interferon alpha 2b injection produced by the reliance company see just imagine reliance company see inf mechanism of action it inhibits the many rna virus dna virus it binds to a specific cell surface receptors effect of the viral replication and it multiply the various steps like suppression of viral protein synthesis inhibition of the translation and uh, anti retroviral drug here remdesivir will come see here remdesivir it not there in the test book not there in test book retrovirus example is hiv last classification hiv these drugs are active against the hiv they prolong and improve the quality life of the hiv they postpone the hiv aids patient they keep on postponing the infection okay mechanical action come classification both are same both are same see nrti ntrti nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor see the class itself mechanism of action all these are the drugs which inhibits the nucleoside reverse transcriptase enzyme and this ntrti nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor so your remdesivir comes under nrti but both are almost you can see it is a, both are almost same remdesivir comes under nrti and nnrti and uh, protease inhibitors all these are protease and fusion inhibitors see all these are the inhibit drugs use inhibits the the thing okay right so and this is remdesivir mechanism action you can see here remdesivir mechanism of action sars cov okay how the sars cov virus it is it inhibits the here step blocks the step so that virus cannot be multiplied these drugs should be avoided whenever you are giving it with judovidin plus stavudin it will it's a pharmacodynamic you know pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic pharmacodynamic antagonism will be there stavudin and uh, didanzonine and lamivudin and uh, didanzonine okay clinically not additive okay these uh, reasons are very very important uh, so i will end my session here